Hey guys, there's something I need to say before we get started. This particular video has some very dark scenes and themes that may not be suitable for a younger audience, so viewers' discretion is advised. If you're 13 and under, please watch something else. If you're between 13 and 17, this video might not be for you, and if you're 18 and over, well, I would reconsider watching if you're unable to handle heavy, dark, and disturbing content. I will make sure to leave a red exclamation point two scenes before the disturbing content just in case. This video is not meant to promote any dark topic seen in the video. Retro Barrage doesn't promote any of the things you will see in the following video, and most of the ideas deprived from shows that Retro Barrage watches on the occasion. Other than that, that should be everything I need to say. Enjoy the video. And here I am back in reality, living with my idiotic gang that make my life miserable at every turn. Huh? What's this email? Tick, just a spam email about some scam. I'll just delete this and... Oh Fred, you're awake, what did you want for breakfast? Damn it Velma, didn't your parents teach you to knock first? Whatever. I was just going to go out and pick something up. Hey, what's this you're reading? It's just some scum about entering a contest to win an all-expense-paid cruise for two whole weeks. It's probably as real as the Nigerian prince looking to get rid of his money. I was just about to delete it. No, wait, Fred, look. It was sent by luxurious cruise liners. This contest is the real deal because I just heard the same thing on the radio and on TV. You know something, Fred? I think it would be amazing to try and win the contest. Having a chance to be on a cruise, free, for two whole weeks sounds amazing. Yeah, but aren't the odds like stupid low? Why bother trying for something that is next to impossible to win? Well you never know if you don't try. So why not take the chance, and also because we both know it's going to happen because if it didn't, this video wouldn't exist. Ahem. Right right sorry. No fourth wall breaks. But even then, it says right here that only the winner and two guests can join. And I'm sure they wouldn't count beer and steak as sentient guests. Well you know what? Let's just go without Daphne. Wow. Never would I have expected you, of all people, to say that Velma. You're usually a real stickler when it comes to including Daphne in our trips. I don't know about you Fred. But I'm still really upset with her about what happened at Wet and Wild World. Like she yelled at a poor child and got us banned for life. I bet you all my money and technology that if she could come along, she'd ruin it in some way. Remember when we went on a cruise before on Samster 5677's channel and she sank the cruise ship? I seriously don't want that to happen again. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but are you sure about this? How would we even get out of the house without her thinking something's up? Oh, I'll just get her a fake winning lottery ticket on the day we will leave for the cruise and leave when she's out of the house. But you'll have to act natural. Get angry when she wins. She'll get suspicious if you don't get angry. I honestly can't believe we're doing this. Well alright, I'll put in my entry and you go tell Shaggy and Scooby the plan. Would they even let Scooby on? I think Retro made Scooby a real service dog when you went on deal or no deal. Oh by the way viewers, Retro Barrage does not condone or approve of people lying about their pets being service animals. Velma, bro. Oops, sorry.
Oh, I mean, I won the cruise trip. I can't believe, oh, who am I kidding? I knew from the start I would have won. Oh, I give up. I better tell Velma and Shaggy about this. Velma and Shaggy, get in here right now, 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 it is concussion time. Well, Fred, what's the matter? Close the door and lock it. And speak quietly. You guys aren't in trouble. I just needed to act like you guys were so Daphne didn't get suspicious. Anyways, I won the cruise contest and I wanted to tell you guys in private. So just play along. Why is $500 missing from my account? We need to be at the docks by 9am on Wednesday. Don't deny it. I bet Shaggy had you hack my account again just so he could get his McDonald's. That's when Velma does her plan to get Daphne out of the house so we can leave without her knowing. That's it. It's concussion time. So get up early so we can get packed and leave as soon as we can. Now both of you get the hell out of my face. Understood? Uh, yup. We got it. I'll go buy three real tickets and a fake ticket. And I'll get everything in the van when Daphne leaves. Are you sure this won't backfire? Surely not. By the time she comes back, we will already be on the cruise ship. And if she tried getting an Uber to the ship, it'll be gone by then. So there's no way this will backfire, I'm sure of it. And also, please don't ruin this for us. I will literally buy you guys anything you want if you just don't ruin this. Don't worry, Fred. We won't. And I promise, too. I think you need this vacation more than us anyways. And this is why I like you two more. Alright, let's get this plan in motion. Hey guys, I went and bought all of us lottery tickets when I went to pick something up from the gas station. Here you guys go. Lottery ticket. Huh. All right. Holy shit, I just won a million dollars. Wow. That's amazing, Daphne. What? That's bullshit. Well, Daphne, you should go cash that ticket in as soon as possible. Yeah, last thing I want is for Fred to steal my ticket. See you guys later. How much time do we have? About 47 minutes. Let's get this plan underway. Alright, so are we going to all stick together or go on our own? Well I think doing our own thing will be better for all of us. We can plan on meeting back up at a certain time and place. Alright, Shaggy, do you have the tickets? Yup, they're right in my hand so I don't lose them. Sweet, I think this vacation will finally be a genuinely good one. Because I know you guys won't do anything stupid. Shaggy, please try to keep the food consumption to a minimum. Last thing we need is you eating their entire supply and we get kicked off. I'll try my best bro, oh, but I can't make promises. I'll take what I can get. I bet Vilma thinks she's so funny. Made myself look like a complete fool. Huh? Why are you here? Oh, I'm watching the house. What? But we are not going anywhere, as far as I know. Really? Fred called me and said they were leaving for two weeks and they wanted me to watch the house. What? Leaving where? Beats me. He didn't really go into detail about that. Hold on, I'm calling Vilma. She might know. Oh, Daphne's calling me. We'll go ahead and tell her. Like I said, by the time she gets here, the cruise ship will be long gone. All right then. You selfish bastards. I can't believe you just left without me. So you're telling me I'm stuck at the house with Retro for two weeks while you guys are enjoying a cruise? Daphne, after what happened at Wet and Wild World, you had this coming. And even then, Fred could only bring two guests, so I'm not sure what universe you thought he would bring you along. Screw you jerks. You guys won't get away with this, believe me. What do I even do? Suck it up and stop being a damn baby. No, 
This is unacceptable. Just imagine how much likes and views I would have gotten had I had the opportunity to boast about being on a cruise. God, you influencers are all the same. Look Daphne, there's not much you can do right now. By the time you even get there, the cruise will be long gone. So there's nothing you can do. Maybe not retro, because I have a plan that is the greatest plan of all plans. I'm not even going to ask. Because you're the creator and you already know what I'm doing? Oh no. I just don't care. Have fun with your mischief. Time to go get some beer. Whatever. Time to get this plan into action. Sure enough, the cruise isn't here. No matter, my plan will be perfect. I wonder. Aha, there. I can steal that boat and just get onto the cruise myself. And if security questions me, I can easily pull the do you know who I am card and I'll be in the clear. Ha 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 ha. This is perfect. Just me, the salty Sierra, and my gourmet beer. What could go wrong? Oh hey Fred. Hey Velma. What's up? You said you wanted us to meet up with you so we can have dinner together. Did I say that? Oh well, let's go get some dinner then. Oh, the cruise ship. Finally, let's just slow down and... Wait, how do I slow down? Oh no, I don't know how to slow down. Oh my god, I'm going to eat that. This fine dining cuisine tastes like something I could easily just make at home. At least it's free, Fred. You know what they say, free food is the best kind of food. I guess you're right, Velma. That's the only- Attention passengers! The cruise has been done to take on water! Please immediately make your way to this turn to abandon train! <laughs> Fred, did you really need to give everyone a concussion just so we can be the first passengers off the cruise? Yes, I did, Velma. It was necessary. I wanted to be sure we were the first ones off just in case something worse happened. Like... Oh my god! How did that happen? I have no idea but I think everyone aboard just died. Oh my god, we just witnessed a mass casualty situation. Someone help me this nasty seawater is ruining my clothes. Daphne? What on God's green earth are you doing here? Are you responsible for the cruise ship exploding? What? No, I am. Retro used his crater's gonimate logic powers to put me onto the cruise ship because he wasn't interested in listening to me whine and complain. I tried looking for you guys and the cruise suddenly exploded. Oh, go figure he got rid of you. I didn't imagine he would want you around. What do we do now? I'm sure everyone on that cruise is dead. And we're stranded in the middle of the ocean. Fred, calm down. Look, I did research on how to find land. We just follow the clouds. If we spot clouds, there has to be some sort of land under it. I say you guys take turns rowing us while I navigate. I guess that's our only hope. I'll start rowing us then when I get tired, Shaggy will take over, then Daphne. There's no way in hell I am doing any manual labor. Daphne, don't you start. We are now in the jaws of life and death. You can complain when we find land. Now let's see. Looks like the sun is setting down. So this way is west. We started sailing towards the east, so I believe heading west is our best bet. Are you sure? No, not at all, but it's our best bet. Well, all right. I guess we really don't have much of a choice. My God, we've been out here for four days. I'm starving. God, why couldn't the cruise explode after dinner? Velma. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm starting to think you were just lying to us. I don't even know anymore. I'm too exhausted and hungry to think straight. Shaggy's hiding food. You bastard. 
You have food? They're my emergency snacks. I'm trying to make them last as much as I can. What the fuck, bro? And you weren't going to share them. You do realize there's four of us. You could have easily shared them. Hell no. Give them here, you jackass. Ooh. You self-centered bastard. Just the tiniest bit of your snacks is all we wanted. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, look, an island. Oh my god, civilization, finally. A house, we're saved, we are going to survive. I'll go check out the situation. You all can check out my ass as I walk away. I think you'll be pleased. They better have food up there. I'll need 100 pounds worth of food just to get back my energy. Okay, so here's the deal. They're going to hunt us. What? The guy said we had a 20 minute head start then they're going to hunt us down like animals. Fred, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, now that I say it out loud, it does sound a little strange. I'm going to go see what's going on. Hi, I'm Daphne Blank, number one influencer and beauty. My gang leader seems to think that you were gonna hunt us down like animals. Yup. Okay then. Look, that cloud there looks like one of those old-fashioned phones. Yeah, and, and that string of clouds next to it looks like the cord. Yes, that's it's a good like addition. It does look like the cord. Good it's contribution. Real, it's real! Get out of my way! Fred, what do we do? Hide somewhere, anywhere. Man, I really hope someone comes and finds us. Authorities have not figured out what caused the latest cruise to be destroyed. So far, there are no survivors. Authorities are beginning to suspect that the cruise was blown up by some outside force. Unfortunately, with no survivors, there are no witnesses. This is just horrible. Boris, Fred and his gang were on that cruise. I can't believe there's a chance they might be dead. Yeah, it's really a true tragedy. But I think I know who did this. Caillou, I just saw on the news that a cruise ship was blown up, and a Scooby gang was on that ship, so I bet it was you who did this. Tell me the truth right now or it's torture time. Dad, I've been in this room for the past month. You even put lasers over my window and bedroom door that only harm me. How in the animate could I have possibly gotten out of here to destroy that one specific cruise ship? You know what, that's fair. Was it Dora? I have no doubt she tells you all about her plans. So it must have been her. It might have been her but I have no way of knowing since you also took my phone. Huh? Well, alright. I suppose you are telling the truth since there's no possible way you could have done it. Here, call Dora and ask her if it was her. And possibly incriminate my best friend? No way. Do it and I'll unground you. Say no more, Dad. God. I can't believe I've been in this room for almost a whole month. When will my parents just let me out? Caillou, what's up? Hey Dora, did you hear about that cruise ship getting blown up? The one that's all over the news? Yeah, I heard. That was some weird incident, but I heard Fred was on it, so I think that's a win in my book. Did you have anything to do with it? Because if so, that's awesome. I wish. I've been stuck in my room ever since we tried blowing up Retro. So it must have been someone else. Oh, okay. Just wanted to check. Take care. Well then. Sounds like Dora is stuck in the same situation that I am in. So it seems she didn't do it. How odd. Destructive terrorist events usually happen because of you too. And since Retro thinks the other troublemakers in other videos are stupid concepts, there's no one else. Except Rosie. Yeah, but Retro isn't making Rosie like that just yet. Why don't you just go ask Retro? He might know. All right. For thousands of years I lay dormant. Who has disturbed my- Oh, hey, Boris. Retro, did you hear about that cruise ship incident? Oh, yeah. Let me guess. It was. No, it wasn't Caillou or Dora. And that's exactly why I summoned you. Did you know or did you have an idea who did it? Well... There's a chance it probably could have been just a horrible accident. Or Daphne. Daphne? Ugh, Fred won an all-expense paid cruise trip but only could take two guests, so they left Daphne behind because of what happened at Wet and Wild World. 
Daphne was outraged by it and I'm assuming she left after them. Oh really? And you think she could have done it? A strong possibility, but blowing up the ship sounds like an overreaction and even then, if it was her, they're more likely dead. I guess I'll just wait until they respawn to get the truth out. For now, let's just keep track of the news report. Well alright. I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. Shaggy has a Charlie horse. What? <laughs> I think our best bet is to spend the night here and rest. You guys light a fire and I'll catch rainwater with one of these plant leaves. Scorbino. He's gone. No, Scooby. Oh my god, we're trapped. Shut up, I'll get us out. <laughs> Ugh. I'm too weak from hunger, I used my last bit of energy giving Shaggy that Charlie horse, worth it. We are gonna die in here. I can't believe starving to death is how I'm going out. I thought for sure I would have died of diabetes or of a heart attack. Stop it, no one is gonna die. Fred, look at the cave entrance, it's caved in. There's no way out and there's nothing in this cave we can eat. Actually, there is one thing. Good lord Fred. Oh my god Fred. That's disgusting. We're not eating Scooby. Look, I know it's disgusting but do we have much of a choice? I'm not gonna stand by and watch my gang perish. Fred you've clearly gone insane and I'm not about to entertain that idea. I guess we can just play 20 questions until we die. I'm thinking of a person. Coco Diablo? Damn. Anything? Authorities haven't found anything worthwhile. I guess we will never know what happened until everyone respawns. Hey, you two. We found something that you might want to look at. Take a look at this. We talked to the owner and it seems the boat in question was stolen by this person. Some debris we located at the wreckage match the color of this boat. Do you think this person is the cause of the cruise ship being destroyed? Oh my god. Daphne actually destroyed the cruise ship. I knew she was mad, but I didn't think she was that mad. Well, I can guarantee you both that she's getting grounded for all of eternity when she respawns. And then she'll be promptly arrested for this terrorist act. Good. Maybe some time and Gail will teach her a lesson. Okay, that's it. Let's do it. Let's eat him. Daphne. Shaggy. She's obviously choosing life and there's no shame in that. Velma. I've eaten macrobiotic burritos. I think I can eat this. Shaggy, we either do this as a gang or not at all. No, you guys don't get it. Scooby is my best friend. I would rather go decades without McDonald's than having to eat my best friend. Shaggy, I can tell you right now if we were all dead and Scooby was the only one alive, he wouldn't hesitate to eat us. Have you guys seriously never had this conversation of this situation ever happening? We did. We both said if we had no other option. If one of us were dead and we needed to eat the other to survive, we would. Shaggy, I know this is a hard thing for you. It's a hard thing for us too. I mean, I don't really care. It's a hard thing for all of us. I promise, we are only doing this for our own survival. Fine, but I won't forgive myself for this. I never knew dogs could taste like lamb, but once my energy comes back, I'll use my concussion energy to destroy the rocks, if it'll even be that strong. Shaggy, are you okay? I'm going to assume that's a yes. Guys, in case I can't break us out of here, there's something I want you guys to know. That you like traps? Don't worry Fred, we support you. Everyone has their own attractions. Wait what? No. I was going. How do you even know about that? Anyways, I was going to say that. Well, I know I act like a giant jackass to you guys all the time and I say I hate you, but I do love you guys. When I said I wouldn't be anything or where I am because of you guys, I was being serious. Aw, oh, well, I love you too Fred, and I'm sure Shaggy does too. Well, I don't like. <laughs> It's... Pain? Who? Yeah, alright. Let's go. Red team wins.
We're not dead? Of course not. No one dies at General Port's most dangerous game family retreat. Well, nothing bonds a gang more than a horrible dark secret. Fred? Boris, how did you get here? Retro transported us as soon as we got word about you guys. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I think we all are. Where's Scooby? I'll tell you later. For now, I'm glad to see you both. Well, I have some very unfortunate news for you. That my vacation was once again ruined. By Daphne. Whoa, whoa. Not so fast, Ms. Blake. You're not going anywhere. Huh, Boris? I think Daphne here should tell you the truth now before I unleash my grounding god powers on her. Truth? What truth, Daphne? Fine. When I got word about you guys leaving me behind, I swore that I would get on that cruise one way or another. So I stole a motorboat and drove all the way to the cruise. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to stop the boat and I crashed right into the cruise ship. All because you guys didn't take me along. Daphne, I, I literally ascended into such a righteous fury that, that I'm so calm. Daphne, I literally could not take any more than two people with me. I chose Shaggy and Velma because I knew for a fact they wouldn't ruin the vacation. But I guess that didn't fucking matter in the end because you still managed to ruin it for all of us. I just, I need a shot. Huh, that was pleasant. Oh, don't think you're out of the doghouse yet Daphne. I honestly can't believe you. I seriously can't. You literally had the whole house to yourself. You could have kicked Retro out and had the whole house to yourself. But no. You chose to steal private property and destroy a cruise ship. Forget about ruining our vacation. That's something that happens on the daily. But do you have any idea at all what you truly did? You just committed a severe act of terrorism and likely murdered dozens, if not, hundreds. And you got us stranded in the middle of the ocean. We got hunted down like animals. And when Fred truly started to open up, you dismissed all of it. Oh, come on, Shaggy. You're not mad. Are you? I had to eat my best friend you crazy bitch. Scooby's dead because you got us into this mess. I agree with everything Fred and Velma said. Goodbye Daphne. Uh. Well Boris, you are the ultimate grounding god. What did you want to do with her? I'm going to ground her for all of eternity and I want her in the nastiest and coldest cell you have. And when I come into work, as the warden of the prison, I will handle her myself. Wait, you're the prison warden? I needed an outlet for my grounding powers and torturing prisoners was the perfect idea. Take her away, Giovanni and Dallin. Not so tough when you're getting arrested, are you? Still think of me as a horned freak? Why? -e 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 Suppose we spend the rest of our vacation here, Fred? Yeah, I guess. I hope Boris shows Daphne what real consequences are. Daphne, as punishment for committing such atrocities, I will summon two grounding concussion beast Freds to absolutely annihilate you. No 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 no, please no, oh god.